All right, session is recording, yeah? Okay, the figure 5 shows one piston of an internal combustion engine. As the crankshaft rotates through 360 degree, the top of the piston, okay, let me uh, make it bigger, uh, move from L to T and back to L. The distance of LT is uh, 9.6 cm and the crankshaft rotates at 3600 revolutions per minute. Determine the frequency of oscillation of the piston. Ah, so what do you think? This piston move up and down. Okay. okay wait. Uh, let. Okay. This piston move up and down. Okay, up and down, up and down. So it's a uh, oscillation, right? Uh, oxidation. Okay. So what what do you say is the distance between L to T? Uh, what is the distance between L to T? What do you think? Uh, equilibrium should be at the center, isn't it? So we can say uh, uh, this one is uh, one amplitude and then this one is another amplitude. Correct or not, class? Hello, yes. class? Yeah, you should give some response. Huh? Don't waste the time. Huh? We don't have limited, limited time, you know, and uh, yeah, limited time. Yeah. Uh, and I have a lot of disturbance over here, yeah. So please be considerate, yeah. So I hope that you give response, yeah. Don't wait for the others. So LT is uh, uh he said nine point six cm. So this one should be L LT should be uh you know uh two amplitude. Okay, the distance LT, yeah. Uh, I should write a uh, displacement. Uh, sorry, LT, yeah. So it's two amplitude. So is two amplitude is nine point six centimeter. So change to meter lah, yeah. Change to meter. So uh, zero always change to SI unit lah. Divide by hundred. So zero point zero nine six meter. Okay. Uh, so uh that is uh okay so amplitude i can find amplitude from here so divide by two what do you get 0 0.096 divide by two what is the answer so it's uh, 0 0.048 meter okay uh, so i got the amplitude and then what what else you say uh, the crankshaft uh rotates 3600 revolution per minute so this is uh you know rpm this is RPM. You see that? RPM. Revolution per minute. So, 3600 uh, RPM. So, this is a, uh, we can say is a, um, uh, you can find Omega. Yeah? Uh, omega. So, uh, you can find Omega already. Yeah? Uh, 3600 RP, 3, RPM. So, change to radian per second. We know that uh omega is uh in radian per second correct or not omega is radian per second uh still remember how to change to radian per second 3600 revolution per minute means 3600 revolution per one minute uh so uh so i multiply what on top i multiply 2 pi become radian below i multiply 60 become second Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, one revolution is two pi radian. One minute is sixty second. So revolution per minute convert to radian per second is multiply two pi over sixty. Correct or not? Multiply two pi over sixty. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, so I can uh, you know, just uh, you know, cut off this one sixty. This one is uh sixty lah. Yeah, 60, uh, 300, uh, this one is 60, 60 multiply 2 pi is um, uh, 1, uh, 1, 2, 0 pi radian per second. Okay, so uh, one, uh, 120 pi radian per second. Okay, so I got an omega already. So omega, okay, I want to find frequency. So how, how to find frequency? Uh, frequency, so frequency is... Uh, ah. Because I got omega is uh, 120 pi, so uh, frequency is 2, omega is 2 pi f, isn't it? Omega is 2 pi f, uh, 2 pi f, so 120 pi, so, uh, okay, pi and pi, no more, and then, uh, you know, and then, uh, so frequency is? 
60 hertz, correct or not? 120 divided by 2, 60. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, and then uh, amplitude. Oh, amplitude I got ready. Amplitude I got ready, yeah? Uh, just now the uh, B is here. Yeah, A is over here. A is here. A, frequency, B, amplitude, I got ready. And then C, what is the maximum kinetic energy? Uh, how to do? C, question C. Any idea? Maximum kinetic energy. Okay, mass given is uh, 700. Uh, this is the mass, yeah? So, mass is, uh, piston is... 700 kilogram I see 700 grams so change to kilograms remember uh, always change to SI unit uh. okay this is no joke anymore near exam ready so divide by 1000 so 0 0.7 kilogram so maximum kinetic energy so maximum kinetic energy uh, the word maximum uh, kinetic energy so remember what you have learned in uh, yeah, in what chapter? Yeah, chapter nine, simple harmonic. Uh, that is a old chapter. Yeah, called chapter nine. So, um, you know, equations, maximum kinetic energy. Uh, see K max. Uh, see that. Uh, maximum kinetic energy is uh the total energy, right? Or not total energy is either K max or U max. Uh, K max. How, which is the uh, K max is actually the total energy half m omega square a square. Uh, that's the formula for total energy half m omega square a square. Simple harmonic motion. Yeah, simple harmonic motion. Uh, K max is uh, equal to total energy when potential energy equal to zero. That happened during K max happened during at equilibrium position. Uh, equilibrium position K kinetic energy is maximum. Potential energy is zero because no extension, no extension on the spring. So the block has the maximum kinetic energy. All the energy is at the block, and the block has con contained the most. Uh, the piston, yeah, the piston contain the all the uh, energy in the form of kinetic energy. Yeah, move the fastest over there. It has the total energy. How many omega square a square? I hope that you understand what I'm talking. Okay, so um. Okay, so uh, what I want to say over here. So K max is equal to the total energy uh, when when potential energy equal to zero okay uh, at this time v velocity is also maximum velocity is max yeah uh, velocity is also maximum okay okay so the formula for k max is or uh, the formula for total energy is half m omega square amplitude square okay so do we have all the for all the needed information Yes, I got the omega, I got the amplitude, I got the mass given. Okay, so I can easily calculate. Mass is uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and what else? Uh, omega is uh, 1 to 0 pi, 1 to 0 pi square, and the amplitude is uh, 0 0.048, uh, 0 0.0048, okay, omega square, amplitude square, uh, A square. All in SI unit. Make sure all in SI unit. Okay. So, 0 0.7 kilogram. Okay. Half M omega square A square. Okay. Calculate. Let's pull out your calculator and calculate. So, um, uh, 120 pi square. And then uh, I multiply by this one. 0 0.048 uh, square. Then multiply by... 0.5 multiply by 0 0.7 okay so i get the answer uh 114.61 joule okay that's the answer kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy okay very easy so question donkey yeah question donkey so at which position the movement of piston acceleration be zero okay uh acceleration zero when is acceleration zero? Uh, acceleration zero when at zero displacement, right? Not at equilibrium position. Ah, uh, remember that. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, question D. Question D. 
Okay. Uh, he say, yeah, acceleration zero. Yeah, acceleration is zero when, when what? When displacement also equal to zero. Uh, uh, this one happened at equilibrium position. Equilibrium position. Uh, okay. Uh, at equilibrium position. So which position? At equilibrium position lah. Uh, because what's the reason? He said, ask what's the reason. So very simple. Uh, because, you know, A equal to negative omega square Y. Uh, that's the simple harmonic motion definition, what? Isn't it? Plus, that's the simple harmonic motion definition, right? Uh, acceleration. Acceleration is proportional to displacement, one thing. And another one, acceleration is opposite. Opposite displacement because of the what? Of the negative sign. Ah. So, acceleration is proportional to displacement. So, that means when displacement is uh, decreasing, acceleration also decreasing. Uh, so, or we can say when y, when displacement is zero, acceleration also zero. Uh, proportional. Uh, so, at equilibrium position. Lah. Yeah, the reason is... Uh, that's the reason. Uh, that's the reason. Uh, the reason is uh, when uh, this at equilibrium position, uh, acceleration is zero uh, because of this formula. Okay. Uh. Okay. So that's all for this question.